So guys, uh, today I will show you how to debug uh, JavaScript or Vue HTML content of UI WebView that you have in your application. Uh, in many cases, uh, many applications uh, display some content uh, through a web UI WebView. And uh, well, uh, if there is something more complicated going on in it and you have some problem and you want to check what it is exactly, some people simply have difficulty to view this content because it's inside UI web view, which is inside your, of your application. So in this clip, I will show you how to do this. It's very simple. Uh, we will do this on Mac and we will use Safari to debug the JavaScript or view the HTML content of your uh, website or whatever is in this UI web view. The UI web view uh, displays content in the application. It can be many things. It, it can be a presentation, it can be a HTML game uh, or some other stuff, which is somehow interactive with the user. So what we're going to do, we're, uh, we will create a very simple application which will consist only of UI web view, which will display some uh, website. And uh, I will run this application on my uh, in iPad simulator and we will debug the content of this UI web view. Uh, to do what we need here is an iPad application. So we will create this application in Monotouch, but uh, you can always uh, create this application uh, in Objective-C using uh, Xcode. Uh, the base, uh, bottom line is that uh, you run this application in the iPad simulator. So let's uh, quickly create some uh, application. <coughs> All right, so I've got a simple application right here. Uh, what I will do, I will simply create a single UI web view and uh, I'll load some URL in this web view. So the application will be run in the simulator and I will want to see what exactly is happening in this uh, UI web view. <coughs> I will do everything in the view did load. So uh, I will simply create some web view. Yeah. Okay, let's create some dimensions. Maybe something like this. <coughs> All right. So now, now that I uh, now that I have it, I will have to create some URL. <clears throat> All right. There's this missing. All right. And uh, well, uh, I will use uh, my jQuery test website, which I was also using when doing the short clip about debugging JavaScript in using Chrome. So we should online.com. Okay, and uh, well, what we need is URL request to actually lo uh, load the URL using the UI web view. It uses the URL as an argument. And now, uh, okay, we are simply loading requests, right? Uh, okay. So that should do it, right? Okay, so uh, now when I have this web view, I'm going to uh, add it. Uh, add it to my view. Uh, and now I'll run the application. It will run on the iPad simulator. Let's see what happens. All right. So what we see here is a, sim a simple application. It consists only of UI web view, which 
is filled with this uh, we should online.com page. Uh, so now I my application simply displays uh, an application, right? And so what I want to do now is uh, uh, what I want to do now is simply debug this application, right? So how do I do so? So uh, when I have my application running in my iPad simulator, I'm going to open Safari. Right? Safari opens. Now in Safari I'm going to develop iPad simulator and here I have that in my UI WebView application I want to see this website because it's this is being displayed by by my UI WebView in this application, right? So I'm opening it. And there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, here I have everything I I uh, need to know about my website. Uh, I have scripts that all included on the page and the scripts I can view. Uh, in this case I want to view this jQuery custom JS to see you guys that you can actually put some breakpoints here and see stuff. So for example, uh, let me put a breakpoint here. This click catches the when user uh, chooses weapon number one and I also put a breakpoint here to see that I can view a variety of variables so uh, let's uh, see my application I am choosing weapon number one and as you can see I am and the breakpoint has caught it right so let's uh, do a step over, step over. Uh, so as you can see, you can debug it. Here you can, uh, below you can see what is the content of, of your variables. Right? And so this is a, it's, it's, it works quite similar to any other web browser which allows you to debug the uh, JavaScript and so Anyway, the bottom line is that uh, when you are deploying on your iPad simulator and you want to take a look what is going on inside the UI web view that is inside of your application, you simply run the Safari, go to dev, uh, develop, open uh, iPad simulator, choose your application and the content of the UI web view that is uh, at a given point being displayed, right? And here you can debug, you can view what's going on. Uh, you can do anything actually. Let's see uh, what is under the element with this weapon one ID, right? So this is it. Let's see what, what is its HTML code. You can see everything. So very simple and uh, very efficient. I kind of like it, right? And here you can also see other stuff. Uh, uh, you can see the CSSs that are attached to your website. You can also see the HTML. So uh, actually everything, right? So that's it, guys. I hope you find it useful sometime. Uh, so if you are embedding UI web view, which somehow will display some content to the user and somehow interact with your application, uh, it is very easy to actually debug it. And sometimes you can, of course, take the content, uh, if it's an external URL or maybe just embedded HTML in your application and just display it in normal web browser and there debug it. But somehow the, the content in your UI web view is uh, communicating with your application, interacting with your application. And in these situations, you cannot just take the HTML out and debug it. You simply need to see what is going on exactly in this UI web view. So you do it the way I showed you right now and you should be fine. So thanks for watching and see you next time.